Hello, I'm Alicia, author of the book, Don't Be a Stranger, and thank you for finding your way to my page. I love to use this platform to share personal and professional resources that I have personally found helpful as well as loved passing on to others. So today we're gonna actually talk about ways to protect and take care of your skin. So I wanted to share a few techniques that I really consider more preventative skincare, as well as some other suggestions and tips for what then might be considered restorative or maintenance for skincare. So I'll be the first to tell you that um, I didn't value the importance of taking care of your skin until later in life. It wasn't until my late 30s that I even understood why it mattered. Um, as a teenager, it didn't mean anything to me. And if you ever would have told me that I would be sitting here doing a Facebook video or rather a YouTube video for social media um, with no makeup on my, my face, I would never have believed you. And yet, I'm able to do that today as a result of a lot of what I've learned in my life over the past few years. So that said, um, for let's talk about preventative first. So what are some ways to take care of your skin starting from a very young age? Well, that would actually be my first suggestion is start at a very young age. It's one of those things we really take for granted and I cannot stress enough what I wish I would have known then. A lot of my time now um, is spent trying to correct and restore um, years of neglect, years of sun damage, years of quite frankly not understanding the, the impact of some of the choices I was making on my skin and feeling like I really wasn't aging gracefully. This is not about being superficial, it's about truly taking care of yourself, it's about self-care, emotional, physical. So uh, this, so skincare starts by the way from the diet, it's from the inside out. So what are you putting in your body? It's gonna show up, you know, with my, my patients in the mental health arena, I say that what you eat is also going to show up in your healthcare. Um, sometimes certain foods that we eat contribute to not feeling good about ourselves, contribute to uh, lethargy or fatigue, mind fog, things like that. I don't wanna get into specifics of one food over another. For that, I would recommend you consult a nutritionist or dietitian, um, but I really wanna say, suffice it to say that what we put in our bodies does show up externally as well as emotionally. So <clears throat> um, one of the suggestions I do wanna say as far as why I don't make specific recommendations is nuts. When I Google foods that are great for your skin versus not great for your skin, they talk about how nuts are great for your skin. I tell you what, I eat a nut and I am breaking out with a pimple within hours. And so there's very few you know, one size fits all recommendations. So suffice it to simply say, please consult your physician or medical team and figure out, you might even wanna consider a food allergy test as far as like what are the different foods that you consume and how are they impacting your health, your skin, um, and all of that. Smoking. Smoking is certainly another environmental trigger or behavioral action that is going to impact the health of your skin. So another thing you may want to consult a physician on and consider the benefits of smoking cessation. Um, Self-care and stress management. So, you know, I'll often educate that unregulated emotions, so stress that goes unattended to, depression, anxiety, these are often related very intimately to our body's physiological functions. In fact, if you think about um, conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, it's very heavily tied to anxiety. So GI issues, you'll often find that. Well, that's exactly the same concept of when we're not taking care of our emotional health, often our skin starts to scream out. So other parts of your body are trying to get your attention. So appropriate self-care, exercise, meditation, yoga, dancing, playing bingo, whatever it is for you, of course, in safe ways, um, it's all about really addressing your emotional health and managing your stress levels in, as a way of also mediating how things are showing up in your body. <clears throat> Believe it or not, even sleeping on your side can uh, result in an increased appearance of wrinkles and affect your skin and the appearance of your skin. Um, certainly one of the ones that I had neglected over the years was avoid excessive sun exposure and um, sometimes that's unavoidable, right? If you're a sports or athlete or somebody who spends a lot of time outside for work, for example, that's really hard. Um, and so that said, I cannot stress enough the importance of wearing sunscreen as well as consider products that have additional SPF coverage in them and really make sure that you have adequate sun uh, protection in place, not only to ward off potential, you know, 
heightened risks of skin cancer, for example, or other types of conditions, but also really to take care of the health of your skin and to avoid sun damage. If you've ever noticed, sometimes you'll get um, darker spots or discoloration or brown spots, and those are, uh, can be a sign of sun damage. <clears throat> And as I mentioned earlier, really the younger you start, the earlier you start in life, the less damage and neglect you wanna take care of later in life. And so I can't stress enough to parents, really consider getting your youngins into a really good routine early in their lives as a way of really helping to make things easier for them as they transition to the next phase of adult life. Um, and then as far as products, really consider the use of safe and effective products. This was another one I did not understand um, several years ago. Ever since I got into my Rodan and Fields business, I really do now understand the value of good skincare. I've literally watched my skin look and become healthier over the past four and a half or so, four plus years of use. Um, but I never did understand, like I'll look back at photos now where my mother and I are in a picture together four or five years ago and I literally felt like I looked older than my mother did in some of those pictures and it was because I spent hours and hours worshiping the sun, out by the pool, loving the Arizona sun and having no idea how much the wrinkles and the sun damage were really sinking into my skin as a result of my, my behaviors and not using appropriate sunscreen. So use safe and effective products, both preventatively from a young, young age on to avoid having some of these issues and to, to really maintain good, good skin health, but also you can reverse some of the signs of the damage. So our products help to um, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, sun damage, acne, sensitive skin, and so one of the things you also want to consider is treat those skin abnormalities or irritants, um, irritated skin. You really want to treat those. Acne, you really want to treat acne. Uh, you know, especially when we think back to some of the poor behaviors you might have had in youth of picking things, that tends to leave scarring. And often that ends up ultimately in your future leading to far more invasive measures than simply using really great products to treat the, the signs of what you're seeing earlier on. Um, so let's see, avoid picking, we talked about that. Um, so really, safe and effective products, sunscreen as much as you possibly can and adding products that have SPF additional protection and really doing things on a consistent basis, having a routine. So the products I use and the regimens I use, I take two, three minutes morning and night every single day. And in almost you know four plus years, I've maybe missed two nights. Because A, as a consultant, my face is my business card and it's my integrity. I wanna be able to truly speak about the products, but I have also really seen the impact. For some people, the idea of a price point, the idea of a routine, the idea of consistency is off-putting, and I do understand that. It's hard to make changes that feel really drastic if you're not used to doing those things. But when you start to see your skin changing, when you start to truly feel more confident in your own skin, with, with need for less makeup, with need for less cover-up, that is priceless. And so I would ask you, what would you be willing to pay for that? What would you be willing to pay for, the, for being able to have greater confidence in your skin? So that said, if you are willing to give it a shot, if you are willing to consider trying out some new products, seeing what your skin is truly capable of, what you're truly capable of, I would love if you'd reach out to me. So thank you for your time. And with that, I hope you are having an amazing start to the new year. Bye, everybody.